today I have the pleasure of speaking with Peter Causey from CBLT. How are you today, Peter? I'm very happy for our shareholders today. We, we've had a good morning. Well, I think the quote here at the beginning of the news release that uh, just came out this morning was, good things are happening at CBLT. So how about we start there with, what are you talking about? Because we all want to hear some good news. Well, the forest fires in Ontario and Manitoba were a problem for us this summer, prevented us from getting in the field. So we're not the kind of people to sit around and twiddle our thumbs. So we got to work with a company called Syscom. We're helping Syscom figure out its go-to-market strategy, its acquisition strategy, uh, and we're renting out some of our in-house talent to Syscom to help them. We also were granted an option to buy 10%, uh, 4.9 million shares of Syscom, which we have exercised. And this morning's news then says that we are sharing the benefits of that work directly with the shareholders by granting a dividend of Syscom shares to the CBLT shareholders. Well, I'm sure people out there are going, okay, dividend, fantastic. When and for how much? The record date is November the 17th, which gives anybody who wants to catch the dividend time to buy the shares on the open market. The exact timing of the dividend will depend on Syscom's progress because it has advised it's becoming a reporting issuer. We'll pay out the dividend after that happens. My guess is Q1 2022, but that's somewhat beyond our control. As to how much, for every 84 shares of CBLT that you own, you'll catch one share of Syscom on the dividend. Okay, well, that can be quite exciting, of course, depending on what Syscom does. So we'll all be looking forward to that, Kim. I'm sure you'll be putting out news when Syscom lists. List. Would that be correct to assume? Yeah. Yes, but even before that, Syscom plans on filing a prospectus. So once the news of Syscom's financial status is public news by way of that preliminary prospectus, we will be sharing that with the CBLT shareholder base. Well, and of course, for those of you out there that don't know who CBLT is, I'm certain you're aware of the lithium bull market, and you have also in this news release integrated an update on Shatford Lake, which of course is a lithium project. Can you tell us more about that? Sure. Shatford Lake is in the Bird River Pegmatite field, southeast of Manitoba. It's very close to the world famous Tanko mine, which is famous for tantalum, cesium, uh, rubinium, beryllium, and of course, lithium. There's a 1991 report, which predates 43101, so all the usual caveats apply, giving it 7.3 million tons of lithium at around 2.7%, which is just a, a staggeringly high number. For comparison, lithium in brine uh, runs around 200 parts per million, Tanko's running 27,000 parts per million. Our first round of samples is in the lab. We're told that the results are imminent. I haven't seen them yet, we will share those with the market as soon as possible. And we do believe it's highly prospective for lithium and those other elements I mentioned. So, Peter, you're telling me, I mean, is it too late to get in on CBLT? It's never too late. And the market action this morning would imply that people agree with you. Well, Peter, as always, it's a pleasure to receive an update on CBLT, and we hope you will join us more often. Absolutely. We've been working hard and it's nice to see the shareholders getting a bump uh, as a result of that hard work. TSX Ventures, CBLT. And that's Peter Clausey. Thank you. Thanks for your time. See you soon.